are a Pistons fan, so in today's video, we are going to be talking about Troy Weaver. But before we get into all of that, please make sure you guys like this video. Today's like goal is 300 likes. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I drop consistent Pistons content. I'm trying to get to 7K subscribers, and right now I'm literally 100 subscribers away from 7,000. So if you're new around here, I would really appreciate your subscription. But without further ado, let's get to talking about Troy Weaver. So Troy Weaver, overall, I believe he's been a good GM for the Detroit Pistons. Now he's made a few questionable decisions. Um, right now, we still have to wait and see what Killian Hayes will become. I personally believe Killian will be, you know, bench player behind Jaden Ivey in the future, providing good defense, rebounding the basketball, passing every now and then. But without any offense right now, it's really hard to tell what Killian Hayes' future will be in the NBA. So he's still a wait and see. We have Kelly Olynyk, who, you know, we signed him and then he was injured for most of the season last year. And then once he came back, he was really rusty. So that's also right now, it's been a questionable decision. And then last year, not having big men depth in the rotation, having someone like Trey Lyles being forced to be your starting center was just a bad look on Troy Weaver. He was to blame for not getting enough big men on the roster last year. And thankfully he addressed that in this offseason. So overall, I would say that Troy Weaver has been good, but he's made a few hiccups here and there. But what I'm about to show you is just astonishing. Put the image on the screen right now. This is the 2018, 2019 Pistons prospects of the future. We had Jordan Bone, we had Luke Kennard, we had Sfi Mikhailuk, Bruce Brown, and Sekou Numboya. Those were the Pistons of the future. Guys actually believed that this team would go somewhere with these type of prospects. We had someone like Andre Drummond being our franchise player. But look at where we are right now once we got rid of Stan Van Gundy and brought in Troy Weaver. We have Kay Cunningham, Jaden Ivey, Sadiq Bey, Isaiah Stewart, and Jalen Duren. Duren alone, I believe he has more potential than the entire Pistons prospects from 2018. I mean, look at Jordan Bone. He's one of those guys who, who his ceiling was he was either a G League player or out of the league. Luke Kennard, he's a good shooter, he has a decent handle, but he never took it to the next level. You know, I just made a video about Sadiq Bey and how hard he works. Luke Kennard just didn't have that in him to take it to the next level. Svi Mikhailuk is a borderline bench guy. Bruce Brown, I really liked him as a player. He's a key rotational piece type of guy who, you know, comes in the game and makes a lot of plays. And then Sekou Numboya, he's G League slash a bench player at best right now. And if you look at all of the prospects from 2018, one common theme that you will notice is that most of these prospects were taken mid to late in the draft. But the thing is, and why I'm not gonna give, you know, Stan Van Gundy and the previous staff a pass is because just because you're mid in the first round doesn't mean that you can't find a sleeper. Troy Weaver, near the middle or late in the draft, was able to find Isaiah Livers. He found Isaiah Stewart and Sadiq Bey. He also traded for Jalen Duren near the middle of the draft. Just because you're at that spot doesn't mean that you just have to pick players like Luke Kennard or Seiko Numboya. And yes, you will have your little hiccups here and there, like when the Pistons got Luka Garza, he didn't pan out for us. Boss of Copa Vista so far, he doesn't look like he's NBA caliber. You know, you'll have your little misses here and there, but you can still find an Isaiah Livers in the second round. The difference between the current regime versus the previous regime is that the previous regime never found any sleepers at all. Trading for Svi Mikhailuk is not a great move. So, Pistons fans, I just wanted to make this video because, you know, I saw the images of the 2019 roster versus the current roster that we have right now and the difference between the prospects, and it's just literally insane. I very clearly remember those Pistons teams. I remember watching every single game, and I'm just grateful that we have the roster that we have right now. So, Pistons fans, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Like this video, comment on this video, share this video. Thank y'all for 6K, and I'm out.